our GMA cover story. It is about an exclusive interview with this young man who grew up behind bars. He was arrested for murder at just 11 years old. His conviction was just overturned, and now he's telling his story for the first time, sitting down with ABC's Juju Chang for a special 2020. Juju, so many years lost for this young man. Absolutely, Michael. And you know, there were headlines everywhere. He was dubbed the world's youngest monster. Jordan Brown, though, has never spoken publicly about being arrested for murder as a fifth grader until now. This summer, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court, in a rare move, overturned his murder conviction, and Jordan spoke exclusively to us for tonight's 2020 about how his childhood was turned upside down. Child killer accused of a shocking crime at the age of 11. It was the brutal crime and shocking arrest that garnered national headlines. February 2009, 26-year-old Kenzie Hauk found dead in her rural Pennsylvania farmhouse. She was eight and a half months pregnant. The suspect, her 11-year-old soon-to-be stepson, Jordan Brown. Less than 24 hours later, state police arrested Jordan, accusing him of using his shotgun, a hunting gift from his dad, to fire one fatal bullet to the back of her head, execution style, before getting on the bus for school. This is the mugshot that was taken. I was crying in the picture. I was crying that whole night. I didn't understand what was happening. I didn't know where I was at, like what was going on or anything. Did you understand what you stood accused of? No, I didn't understand. What do you see in this mugshot? I see somebody who just committed a murder. That's why there's a mugshot. With his son facing life without the possibility of parole if tried as an adult, Chris Brown began a years-long fight to free Jordan, driving four hours every day to visit him in juvenile detention. We were there over a thousand times. And so what made you need to be there? He's my son. But three years after his arrest, a now 14-year-old Jordan is found guilty in juvenile court of double homicide. Obviously, the police believe that you killed Kenzie. Did you kill Kenzie? No. Undeterred and convinced of his innocence, his lawyers bring his case to the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania. And just this past July, a stunning victory for the Browns. Pennsylvania's Supreme Court sides with Jordan, writing that the prosecution had presented insufficient evidence. Jordan's conviction overturned. Everything's gone. Doubt made me happy, and then the truth finally got out. During his incarceration, Jordan taught himself how to play guitar and became a pretty good basketball player. No, I'm not, I'm not angry. I mean, I think the whole like what happened and the way it happened is BS, but I'm not, I'm not gonna say that. Now 21, Jordan says he's determined to focus on brighter days ahead. What are your hopes for your future? Well, I just want to be successful. I just want to graduate college, um, you know, get a job in my major and be successful. And what do you want to tell the world about you? That I'm innocent. That's like the only thing I really want people to know. You know, I first spoke to Jordan's dad nearly a decade ago for GMA, and for tonight's 2020, we interviewed several investigators, the original prosecutor, and members of Kenzie's family who are still convinced that Jordan is guilty, despite what the Supreme Court says was a lack of evidence. But there's also tonight a new witness who was there that morning in the House who has never spoken publicly before, not for the trial, not for the defense team, the young daughter who found Kenzie's body. And honestly, Michael, she seems to shed new light. If she had new light on the case mm -hmm. that this young man spent seven years in prison for. Absolutely. We cannot wait to see that. And you can all, we can all watch it. The exclusive interview with Jordan Brown tonight on 2020 at 10, 9 central. And you can see more on Nightline as well right here on ABC. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.